I'm losing my hopes for my younger brothers and little sister to attend the university. Because at this rate, by the time they attend college, education will be forbidden. And it'll become a privilege only the rich can afford, like back in the day, when people were enslaved and enclaved into communities, unable to play a role in society other than hands and labor, never the head. I now have the opportunity to become my city's mayor, which I might be sometime later. I will die if I am unable from all sorts of bleeding, because they keep finding ways to keep innocent, indigent people like us from succeeding, cheating us from the essential human needs. Why? Because of selfish, money-hungry monster butchers who refuse to share a piece of the pie. We must act wisely and find a way to tax and take our money back from these sadistic corporations and those rich 1% who don't give two squirts of it's about our kids, these people need to pay. <laughs> Otherwise, we will witness demise when thousands of our students are thrown out of class next year. Because the schools will be millions, if not billions, of dollars poorer. Let them know that the fight is far from over. Move forward. Exercise your right to learn, gather, and to socialize and embrace it before the government takes it and revokes your right to an education. Power to the people! Power to the people! Power to the people! Fire it up! Can't take it no more! Fire 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 up! Can't take it no more! Can't take it no more. 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 All right. All right. Next on the list, we have a uh, Professor Deborah Weber, Weber with the History Department here on campus. She has some things to say as well. Thank you. It's good to see all of you out here fighting for your education and frankly fighting for the state of California. Um, I'm a beneficiary of what was the master plan, the idea that all students in California could get a higher education. I went to school in elementary school and junior high and the university when we paid low fees could support ourselves, do work and also get an education. That's not the case now. The wages, the, the wages, the rates are going up for you, they're getting doubled and tripled to a point where many of the students I teach and why I love teaching here will not be able to afford a university education. As of now, most of you are working part-time or full-time helping to support your families. You're being priced out and they're trying to bring in and are bringing in students from out of state. Why? I don't object to them coming from out of state, but it's because they pay more money. The money is a political decision and it's a budget decision. We don't tax the oil companies off our shore. Why is that? We tax students. We tax students and they have to pay higher prices. We also tax workers here. We have staff and service workers who are eligible for food stamps, people. What is that? 
We know Monica Lozano reads the newspaper L'Opinion that her family began. And I hope she pays attention to how it's hitting her community because it's hurting them badly. A lot of our students are not, or their brothers and sisters will not be here in a few generations if we do not change the structure of tuition. We also, we also are going increasingly towards or are in a corporate model for the university. Even more so than when Mario Savio of the free speech movement at Berkeley stood on the steps of Sproul Hall in Berkeley and said, we need to put our shoulders to the wheel and stop this machine. His words are even more important and hopefully prescient today. I care about education and that's why I'm here. I care about a citizenry that can read and that can decide for themselves and get the facts from newspapers and what they read. We are being sold a bill of goods and so are the people of California. The future will pay for this. The future is being taxed and it's being taxed by the regions who have the power to make the final decisions. Yeah. Yeah. The governor should appoint people who are responding to the will of the communities, not only big business. Yeah. It's not a matter of just representatives from particular ethnic groups. It's representative also of communities as a whole and workers. And I, as a worker here at the university, I applaud that you're here. I applaud that you're speaking up for your education and talking to the regents. I hope that they are also listening. Thank you very much and right on. Right now we have a SD faculty member, Yvonne Evans. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Here you go. Yeah! yeah. Right. Thank you and greetings. My name is Yvonne Evans. I'm uh, from the uh, San Diego uh, campus. Um, yeah. Also representing uh, uh, the San Diego Faculty Association. You can see our banner out there, which we fly very proudly. Yeah. Uh, it's great to be here. I know that Irvine is about to arrive. They're about uh, uh, yeah. about five, ten minutes away. Yeah. So we're going to have more people join us here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can hardly yeah, yeah. improve on what has already been said and what we all know already. I think, in fact, it is time now to recognize that um, the, the tide of history has begun to turn. And uh, after a decade and a half and more um, of an experiment with pr uh, the privatization of education, the people are standing up and said, you've had your turn, uh, you've experimented, and we can see the death returns that is now, um, that lies in the wake of one and a half, uh, one and a half decades and more uh, of privatizing the university. And so we are gathered here together, and if the regents don't hear this now, Occupy and other groups in the next few months are going to make it loud and clear, enough is enough. Stop and so it's time to start um, recognizing and congratulating us, uh, ourselves. We brought the movement to this point, and it is time now to look forward. We have to look forward to a different kind of university. We no longer just want to imagine a new university. We want to reconstruct, break down what they have done to the UC yeah. over the last one and a half yeah. decades. Yeah. We're looking ahead to reconstructing a new kind of university. One in which is affordable, one in which the faculty and staff and students represent the state of California, one that is more than, more than anything else affordable to every Californian who wants a seat yes. in higher education. We, our goal is nothing less than to return to the original promise of the, um, the master plan, which was passed in 1960, which said simply, if you want to, 
the state of California will help you to get a, 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 some kind of higher education. So we have to look forward. Uh, we have to imagine a post-privatized university. We have to start imagining how we go about deconstructing things that they put in place and how we rebuild a new university, a new community with different dreams to suit a different, more humane uh, era. The age of globalization and privatization uh, is coming to an end. Yeah! The neoliberal university has to be reassessed. And so I'm mean, exhorting you, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, and remind us, although that is often necessary, but it is not always necessary to remind us why we are here. We know why we are here, and we have to now start thinking positively ahead to change what has been done to the University of California. And there is no better place here, I think, um, to state that we have to understand what the master plan was. The master plan was not a document about the University of California. It was about a three level, uh, three, three institutions uh, that comprise the system of higher education. And so I'm happy and proud to be here from the University of California <laughs> on another uh, UC campus. I'm happy and proud to be that. Uh, but I also want to make it clear that we never forget that the community colleges and the state universities are equals. Yes! Yes! We are not better, yeah. we are just different. They are not worse, no. they are just different. Any Catholic one will understand, three in one. Yeah. And this is what the master plan is. It's not a hierarchical system, there's no the father, there's, it is we are three universities that band together. And so this is just one, so this is just the beginning of what I hope in Southern California, we, go, we are going to forge in the next month because we know what's coming up in March. And March is gonna be a great big ma month for us. Occupy across the nation um, is, um, uh, what's that word when bears come out of a cave after sleeping? Oh, after, after hibernating uh, for in, in, in the cold winter months on the East Coast and in the Midwest and the sun is beginning to come out and they're coming out of their lairs, rubbing their eyes and feeling the, the sun. And so they're joining us again as well. Um, and so we are not alone out here on the West Coast saying these things across the nation. Um, movements and organizations at campuses, co community colleges, state universities, and the comprehensive universities that are the, supposed to be the, uh, the leaders of higher education are coming together with Occupy and we are saying on March the 1st, all campuses in the United States are gonna speak with one voice. A national day of action in which all campuses are gonna consider, analyze, and think about higher education and what comes next. We are not looking backwards anymore to what we need to do. We know why we are why we are here. We know what they have done to us. And so now we are looking forward. We're going to turn, uh, turn open the halls of higher education again back to the people. We're going to stop privatization. We're going to unclog those bottlenecks that have kept the poor, underrepresented minorities out of this campus and increasingly the middle class itself. And so this is a broad-based movement from coast to coast. Every level of university is going to be speaking as one. And it is important to remember again, and I say it again and again, we are not, the University of California is not the master plan. We are but one cog of a, of a three-layered system. And what I would love to see take off from Riverside here is the beginnings of a coalition that cuts across our campuses and so we can realize that you don't have to keep reinventing the wheel, that the same activists don't have to keep burning themselves out setting up these meetings. We can activate net networks if we establish them. And so the University of California of San Diego, speaking for the students and speaking for the faculty, we are willing and we want to forge permanent long-standing alliances with campuses in Southern California. So Riverside, we want to be with you always. Irvine yeah. is joining us. I don't know where the hell LA is. But they ought to be out here in large numbers, but they have, been, but they have not been. We're here. Occupy We're LA here. is here. Welcome. Yeah. Occupy, yeah. LA. Occupy LA, you are important to this coalition. And so it would be fantastic to see the UCLA, CSUs, and CCs from LA join as well. And I'd say this to every town in Southern California. Let us come together. They already have such a network in Berkeley. I have attended three meetings of Occupy California, Northern, Occupy Education, Northern California, and it's amazing.
they have like 35, 45 organizations that meet every week and they network all levels of the, of the system of higher, higher education, plus teachers and representatives from PTAs come together every week and they're planning this National Day of Action on March the 1st. Exactly the same thing is happening in New York, where Occupy New, um, Education New York, which called for this, master, uh, for this Day of Action, has been doing the same thing. The campuses, the state universities, the CCs, and the, um, the, the University of uh, New York the campuses are all coming together and they've already forged a coalition. Don't let the Bay Area beat us to this, folks. <laughs> they don't have to speak for us. We have our own voice, we have our own interests, and we have our own abilities here to pull together a truly statewide coalition. We, we can counterbalance the, um, the effect, which I admire greatly, in the Bay Area. But I know that we have that same dynamism, that same community, that same commitment to a democratic and progressive ideal of higher education. So this is the beginning, I hope, of a coalition yeah. that will form, we will just we won't just meet here today and then go away. We will yeah. we will. If you represent an organization, please come and talk to me. I'd love to talk to you. We need to form a hub. We need to form a list. We need to stay in contact. We need to be part of Occupy Education Southern California. And once we are organized, we can then also ensure that Central California, Merced, uh, and the other campuses are also part of this. Merced is no. It's not worse than UCR or better than San Diego. It is an equal. We are all equals in the struggle. And so the, uh, the system of um, the master plan for higher education is an invitation for all students and faculty, staff, students, and all systems of higher education to come together and to plan a different kind of university that represents the ideals of California and to remind California what made it great, why California is the world's seventh largest economy still. Bigger than France. It's because of the system of higher education which, created, which gave to the great inventors and the innovative thinkers an educated populace that was ready to understand, take over, and, and take forward the digital revolution that was occurring already in the 1960s. If, if that if that revolution had occurred in Alabama, it would have died in Alabama. Because there wouldn't have been enough people to feed its dreams and the dynamism which it unleashed. It's because the system of higher education in California prepared um, a population that was already educated, dynamic, forward-looking, and ambitious that the digital revolution did not take place in China, Japan, Australia. It took place in California. Yeah. It's not anything to do with the master plan. So, our California's dreams are not behind us. They sure they have damaged us for a decade and a half, but now we can confidently go forward. I think just looking us around here, knowing that there are more people coming, knowing that we can forge this coalition, I think we're in a good place. It's going to be a great year. Let's occupy this year. Just like privatization has occupied every aspect of our lives, the little children receive credit cards in the mail at age four and five, so Occupy also must respond in kind. Occupy every part of civil society. Yes! And turn it over. Yeah! Turn it over. You've got to stop privatization. It's inhumane. It is cruel. And as we can see in the, in the, with the uh, Republican presidential debates, some of the worst aspects of America um, feel that they are living in the sun, in the open, and are becoming increasingly brave with their obvious hatred of the poor, um, the, the belittling of the marginalized, the obvious racism, the classism, the elitism, um, these things are now have become Sexism, sort of homophobia. standard. And so we have to reverse that. So this is a great mo great day. I hope the regions hear it, but I hope Southern California and all campuses hear it, and that we can come together so that America on March the 1st will know that from coast to coast, we stand as one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right. Now we're going to have actually one more. No, it's not a chant, right? You all want to get pumped up, right? Yes. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Right, who's got one? Who's got one? I don't even want the all time. Who's got one? No way, we won't pay. 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 No way.
Um, Wes Porter, he's with the Student California Teacher Association. There you go. Woo! Woo! I'm a lot louder than I normally am. I'm a little sick right now. I've been up in that hours just studying everything. But I, I don't know if you guys know this. You know, right now they're they're trying to raise our fees 81 percent. You understand that, right? Shame. 81 percent over four years. Shame. They just raised our fees nine percent, then another nine percent, and now they're talking 81 percent. This really isn't for y'all. This is for all these people out here. They're over there trying to vote to raise our fees 81 percent. Yeah. I don't think you really understand. Think about that for a second. 81 percent, nine percent was like another thousand dollars a quarter. Come on, we're talking like another three, four thousand dollars a quarter. Come on, I can barely make. I, I, I mean, top ramen as it is right now. How can I, how can we afford to continue to live on another 81 percent? I know my man right here. That just hit him. He's like, man, how's that? How am I gonna, how am I gonna feed myself on that? But you know how you're gonna do that? This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take out another loan, and then another loan, and then another loan, and then, and then you're gonna try to get some help from the state, but they can't help you. Why? Because you're going to school, right? You see what they're trying to do right now? They're trying to privatize public education. They're trying to take our our right to get a quality public education and turn it private, which means only the haves can can get here to go to school, which means only the rich can go to school. Right. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm from the hood. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in the ghetto. I grew up in impoverished neighborhoods. We don't have money. I'm one of the very few that ever got out. Yep. But I'm here today. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. And there needs to be more people just like me to get here, but they're not going to yes. be able to do it if we raise fees to like 50000 a year to go here. This isn't USC. This is UCR. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, I don't drive a Beamer. I have, my parents don't have trust funds for me. And I don't look down on you if you do have that, but I'm telling you right now, not all of us have that. 81% yeah. is ridiculous. It's out of it. They're crazy. They're losing yeah. their minds. You know why? Because the CEOs for Bank of America, they're already multi-millionaires. That's yeah. why. Yeah. They think everybody's a multi-millionaire. And that's not the way it is. Woo. I'm telling you, my organization, the Student California Teacher Association, we were there with the UCs the whole week of action. Stand up with AFT, CFA, that's all your professors. We stand up with them. We're standing here with you guys today. And I'm going to tell you, keep our schools public. We cannot privatize public education. Yes. This is not University of Phoenix, okay? This is not National University. This is not where you have to pay $5,000 in class to get here. This should not be that way. Woo. I'm going to tell you right now, we got to keep our schools public. So this is all I got to say. Who's university? Our university! Who's university? Our university! Who's university? Our university! Next we have a uh, undergraduate from UCI. Everyone give it up for Cameron. How's everyone doing today? Yeah. Hey, um, I'm a student from UCI. Um, I don't know if you all know, but UCI is not known to be the most quote, quote, political campus here. Um, and we've had a really hard time organizing gain students to turn out to our events, right? Um, but I think, I just want to share this with you, because um, I know a lot of y'all are activists, or y'all are like just starting your activist career. Um, it's not that the students here are apathetic, right? Students here don't care. Uh, it's not that students don't care. The students feel disempowered, right? Yeah. Students don't feel like they have power to change things, right? They don't feel like they can make a difference. They don't feel like those regions in there are going to listen to us, right? Maybe that's true, maybe that's not, right? But if you look at what happened last November when we actually stopped the tuition increases, we stopped the 81% tuition increases, right? That's evidence that we can do something, we're changing something. Um, refund California and the millionaire's tax. That's a very tangible thing that the regions can do, even right now, today, to support and actually refund California, put money back into the California budget by taxing millionaires, taxing oil, reforming Prop 13, the property tax, that um, corporations don't have to pay as high property taxes if they invest here in California, right? So I think all of us being out here today is a really good thing, but I think we all need to keep educating ourselves and we need to learn how to empower other students. You know, 
and take all these all these successes that we've had in the past few years and put that forward. Let them know that you know the student movement here has actually made a really significant difference, right? We stopped that tuition increase last November. That's a huge thing. That's a huge, huge accomplishment. Right? And it sucks that I had to take police brutality at UC Davis and UC Berkeley to do that. But the thing is that the public eye right now is on the University of California. It's on the CSU system. The whole nation, the whole world is watching us right now. And that should feel good. That should feel good because we're making a difference. So um, that's all I really wanted to say. Keep educating yourself. Have those conversations with people and constantly seek to empower those students because students care. We're all paying this immense amount of money to go here. We all care. We're all suffering. So let's empower each other to make the change that we want to see. Alright, thank you, Cameron. Everyone get up the camera again. Okay. I just got word that our students, our friends, our colleagues are in there mic checking that meeting right now. Yeah. Uh, I want you one more time. It's thick walls, thick glass, there's another room, doors blocking our, our noise. I want you to make sure they can fucking hear us. Yeah. Make sure your voices go through all those classrooms, all of them, okay? Next chat, all right. El pueblo unido, jamás será vencido. 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 El pueblo unido. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, so right now I have no one um, uh, up for open mic. If you want to come up, come up right now. If not, we can just keep this going. It's party going. All right? Thank you. One simple demand, don't shit on the master plan. One simple, simple plan. demand, don't, don't shit, shit on, on the master plan. plan. One simple demand, don't shit on the master plan. One simple demand, don't shit on the master plan. One simple demand, Mike Jack, Mike Jack, Mike Jack, Mike Jack. The regents, the regents have just left the building. Have just left the building. Our chants have worked. Our chants have worked. On the inside. On the inside. They are retreating. They are retreating. Your president, Yuda. 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 Yuda.